Hello, and welcome to Premier Handling Solutions video series on running an efficient and safe warehouse. This week's video expands upon last week's. We are going to explore the seven principles of HACCP. Step 1. Conduct a hazard analysis. This is the process of determining food safety hazards and identifying ways to control the hazards, where a food safety hazard refers to anything that can cause food to be unsafe for human consumption. Step 2. Identify critical control points. A critical control point can be anywhere in the food manufacturing process where a control can be implemented. These will help reduce food safety hazards. Step 3. Establish critical limits for each critical control point. Critical limits are the amount, both maximum and minimum, a hazard needs to be controlled at a critical control point to ensure food can be safely consumed. Step 4. Establish critical control point monitoring requirements. You will need to monitor your controls to make sure they work. Each procedure and the frequency of its monitoring must be recorded. Step 5. Establish corrective actions. Having actions in place to ensure that if a product deviates from its critical limit, it will not be made available to consumers. Step 6. Establish procedures for ensuring the HACCP system is working as intended. You must validate that your HACCP plan does indeed work and ensures safe food products. Step 7. Establish record keeping procedures. HACCP regulations require warehouses to maintain documents about its hazard analysis and written HACCP plans, as well as records on critical control points, critical limits, corrective actions and verifications. Premier strongly recommends taking part of HACCP training and welcomes you to look at our wide array of ACCP products on our website. Thank you for watching. Come back soon for more videos on running a safe and efficient warehouse from Premier Handling Solutions.